I mean, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to compete again, especially at this level. And there was a lot of days where I thought, I, I gotta do something else. I can't, can't keep tearing myself up like this. This is what a great bareback ride should look like. For the past several years, days were sometimes filled with doubt for R.C. Landingham. Injuries aside, his biggest battle became his mother's cancer fight. Her and R.C. were very, very close. They had a very close relationship, and R.C. was her baby. If you ever met her, you felt like you'd known her forever. All my buddies, we'd show up from rodeos, and she pretty much took everybody in like they were her own. She'd cook us meals and do, our, do everybody's laundry, and uh, just, you couldn't ask for a better, better mother, better woman. But on February 3rd, 2017, Landingham's mother lost her battle. RC's biggest fan would no longer be in the stands to cheer on her son. It is harder to make yourself want to keep going for a while and there, there's parts of it that are, you just aren't there anymore his mental healing will probably never end his physical healing only time would tell it was time to give it another try you have one shoulder surgery and then two it's like okay then you have to have a third it's it's hard to not question is, it, is this gonna work or am I gonna have to do something else? There were times where RC worked for a construction company to try to, um, you know, make ends meet and it was a lot. I catch myself all the time driving down the road looking at the sky talking to her. Her number one word was always try and she would always say it's a three-letter word T-R-Y and that's try. And uh, it just came to the point where it's been three years now we got to try so to we go that is rc landingham 13 years ago removed from his collegiate national RC title landingham trying to get into one of these top spots today rc landingham climbs aboard his bareback horse with a chance to win one million dollars needless to say his biggest fan will be watching from above that might have done it 90 and a half points i don't know it's uh the push from my family and i guess the angels up, up above yeah i've never had things go this good for me ever in my career and i'm just very thankful we're thankful for you we're thankful for your talent good things happen to great people rc landingham It does not matter if you are an athlete. It is the journey that ultimately defines us all. And for R.C. Landingham, he is moments away if finding out if destiny holds a huge check. You know, this is where you got to have that confidence that Luke was talking about. You got to let your body do what it knows how to do. This crowd is making itself known. There is definitely a fan favorite in bareback. The judges take on the tall task now of, is it enough? Well, you talk about a horse and a ride. He makes this horse look easy. Now, Ty, that to me, that horse is strong and powerful, but RC does everything so correct right here. 89 and a half, guys. There's your million dollars. And that's what's so great about this event. We just seen a cowboy win $1 million, and we see it every so often, but this is such life-changing money for RC Landingham. So happy to see this. You know, I've been waiting a lifetime to see a bareback rider be able to spur one, win a million bucks. So happy for him. Let's send it down to Kate. RC. You've battled your entire professional career trying to hit that million dollar mark. You just earned one million dollars with three wins in a row. What do you make of this moment? If I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Because uh, this has been a long and rough road. And I just can't believe I'm standing here right now. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. It's, 
Thank you to the WCRA. This is a life-changing moment. It's just a great opportunity that we get to do this. And uh, we didn't have this kind of opportunity. And the WCRA is making the things very possible for a lot of guys. And I hope this gets the attention of more people and everybody starts getting involved with rodeo because this is life-changing. If you don't mind, you talked about the rough road it took to get here. If we can go there for a moment, you've suffered through personal loss, battled back from so many injuries. How did you continue to fight to make it right here? Uh, it's just been a dream since I was a little kid, and it's been my whole family's dream, and I've had an excellent support system throughout it all. I just don't have a, I don't have a give up button, so all we can do is keep trying. First ever Triple Crown winner, $1 million. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Ty, today's Kubota Ride of the Day comes with some exclamation points. Ride of the Day, this is the ride of the century. R.C. Landingham getting a million bucks. I can't think of a guy that's more deserving, that's worked harder at it, that deserves it more. As I said at the beginning of the show, this guy's a beast. He dances with freckled frog and gets to hold up the official check. Seven figures coming his way. Luke, here are some of our many winners from today. Yeah, and the team roping was the most exciting to me. Nelson Wyatt, Buddy Hawkins got it done in a strong field. We'll tie as we flip the script here to the other winners. Cole Fisher, impressive in bull riding. Absolutely, but nothing more impressive than our first million dollar winning on one ride, bareback rider R.C. Landingham. R.C. celebrating with his family afterwards, stocking stuffers for all his friends, not to mention probably one heck of a New Year's party. Back-to-back -back episodes of the 2022 Rogue Invitational are next right here on CBS for Ty Murray, Kate Harrison, Luke Branquino, and our entire crew. I'm Craig Hummer. We thank you for watching. Merry Christmas, everybody.